When configuring mobile users with Prisma Access, you will need a way to authenticate those users from their Global Protect client as they connect to both the portal and the gateway. There are a variety of different ways that you could choose to do this. At the beginning, for the purposes of testing, the simplest way to go about this is probably to make some local users to the portal and the gateway. In order to do that, I'm in the device tab and I'm in the mobile users template. Down here at the bottom, there is the local user database and I have made some users. I have Sally, Tom, and Brian as local users within Prisma Access. These users would be created on portals and gateways that were subject to the mobile users template. These users that I've created, they're going to exist locally on the security processing nodes or on the portals or on the gateways with a simple local password. This probably isn't what you want to do for your long-term implementation of Prisma Access, but this can be used in order to do an initial authentication of your users just to make sure that the users are able to connect, the users are able to download their configuration, and that a tunnel can be created. In addition to the local user database, Prisma Access supports a number of other methodologies to be able to authenticate users. They include Radius, TACAX Plus, LDAP, Kerberos, SAML, as well as a number of different multi-factor authentication methods. Now we're going to move on to configuring some of those. In order to create the ability for the Prisma Access security processing nodes to be able to authenticate a user to one of these methods, the first thing we need to do is teach the Prisma Access environment where the server is that we're going to validate the users to. That's done under server profiles. And remember again, it's important to note that I'm in the mobile user template. So I'm gonna click here on LDAP. And as I do down here at the bottom, it brings up this screen for an LDAP server profile. This screen right here is where I teach the Prisma Access security processing nodes, portals, and gateways where the device is that they're going to speak to to authenticate a user. We also are going to need connectivity to this device. In this example, it is a reasonable assumption that we've already set up our service network, and within our service network is the LDAP server that we're going to connect to. I'm going to configure this LDAP server profile now. I've just filled in our LDAP server profile, and here's what I've done. I've made the server profile, and this server profile refers to three different devices, AD20, AD30, and AD90. I've listed the IP addresses of each one of these devices. I've also specified what the base DN is, where I'm going to look in the Active Directory structure to get user information, and what username and password will allow me to connect to these devices. So I've given myself some redundancies by specifying multiple AD servers that my Prisma Access portals and gateways could query in order to be able to validate users' passwords. Now, I've made the server profiles, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to click on OK, and next, I'm going to go over to Authentication Profile. Under Authentication Profile, this is where I merge together the fact that I taught the portals and gateways where the server is that I'm going to authenticate the users to with what field includes username information. 
or am I going to use multi-factor authentication where I check with the AD server for a username and password, but then perhaps I might use Okta or something else for authentication. Let's configure this now. So I'm gonna call this AD underscore off. I can specify the authentication method that I am going to use. In this case, I'm going to speak LDAP to that device. I can choose my server profile. I've already made it AD servers. I can specify what the field name is that I'm going to match against in the database in order to authenticate these users. So the rest of the settings on this screen would be unique to how your particular LDAP or Active Directory servers were configured. We'll continue on from here. So now I have created my authentication profile. There's another option that's available as well, the option of an authentication sequence. In an authentication sequence, I can create multiple methods of authentication that the Prisma Access environment would query in sequence, one after the other. So I could choose to have AD authentication here, but I could also then make another authentication method for RADIUS so that my Prisma Access environment would query these multiple authentication methods in sequence in order to be able to try and validate a user's information. Later, we'll use this authentication information that we've created in the configuration for our mobile users.